Hi guys, it is time for March favorites, so let's just jump right in. My first favorite has been this L'Oreal Color Riche Balm, and it is in the color Rose Elixir. Number 218. And it is just this beautiful light pink color. And let me do a quick little swatch for you. And it just gives the nicest, lightest tinge of color to your lips, but it feels super hydrating and very moisturizing. And I actually have this in one other color, I believe it's called Carrying Coral. And I haven't used that one very much just because I've been so obsessed with using this one. Next up, I have the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and this is in the color Fair, because I am quite fair. And I actually really, really love this. I throw it in my bag and take it with me in the morning if I'm in a hurry. Um, I absolutely, I wear it all the time. And sometimes I'll even wear it up on the top of my eyelids, sort of as a base, um, or just to cover my uh, veins and stuff that I have on my eyelids because you can see them because I am so fair. I feel like this does a really fantastic job underneath my eyes with my dark circles. And I don't feel like it makes it look too heavy or cakey under my eyes. It goes on really smoothly. It blends out really well. And I just really love it. Um, the only downside that I have is I actually really do like the little um, wind-up spongy thing. But as you can tell, the <laughs> I have tape around the top of it. Because shortly after I got it, I was clicking it up and it cracked and then it continued to crack and then it started to break off in little pieces so I had to put some tape around it to keep it from completely falling apart and then being unusable. Sometimes now I have a problem being able to get more color up because there is a gap between where this meets this and I have to push it down. to be able to get it um, to click up. So it doesn't always click up the way it should because it's broken, um, but I'm trying to save the package so I can get it all out before it gets absolutely ruined. Next up is the Beauty Blender Sponge, which I received in my February birch box, and I am obsessed. I have a brand new like buffing brush to apply my makeup with, my foundation, but I just can't stop using my Beauty Blender. And I have had, I had the Sonia Kushik dupe, but this is so much better than that one ever was. And I really did like that one, but forget about that one now. Once this one goes bad, I'm gonna have to buy another one because I feel like this gives me the most beautiful application for my foundation that I have ever had. And I tend to have dry skin in through like my T-zone. Um, and I know most people are like oily um, and the problem with dry skin is that sometimes your makeup doesn't go on so evenly and it can look kind of flaky. Um, so I use my Revlon Color Stay Foundation for dry skin and I use my Damp Beauty Blender Sponge and oh my gosh I have never had such a flawless application of foundation ever. So. I highly recommend this one. I know they are ridiculously expensive for a sponge, but you will not regret buying this one. The next thing that I have been completely obsessed with is my e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow. And this is part of the new $2 line and mine is in Tantalizing Taupe. And I just got this a couple weeks ago and I am making quite a nice little dent in it. Look at the base color. Um, I have been wearing this almost every single day. I feel like it's just a really complimentary um, quad for my skin tone and my eye color and I really love it. It was only $2. I've been using the Urban Decay Primer Potion or the Palladio Herbal uh, Eyelid Base or the NYX HD Primer and they've all been doing fantastic with this eyeshadow. It really keeps it on there for the day and I have not had any problems with fallout or it moving or it not being as pigmented as I want it to be. It is fantastic. I really love it. And I actually did a tutorial with this eyeshadow quad recently, so I'm going to link it over here for you and in the down bar below if you want to go ahead and check that one out. My favorite blush recently has been this NYX 
HD grinding blush and this one is in the color English Rose and it's pretty cool I've never had a grinding blush before but um, you just open it up and there's actually a mirror in here but I haven't taken the plastic off yet and then here's the blush on the inside and when you want more you just go ahead and crank it and it grinds like fresh blush for you and then you just swirl your brush in here and tap and then apply it to the apples of your cheek. It's not quite as bright as this shade I might wear in the summer and it's not quite as deep as the shade that I might wear in the fall. So it's sort of that nice transition shade that I think would be great for spring and fall. Um, yeah, I just feel like it gives me that nice, healthy, beautiful glow without being overly pink. Next up is the color that I've been wearing the most this month. It is the Rimmel Lasting Pro Nail Polish and it is in the color Sunset Orange and it is this really, really bright, corally orange shade as you can see I'm starting to make a little dent there and it is actually on this nail so you can see what it looks like I just feel like the lasting pro nail polishes are a great formulation they don't chip very quickly and I just really love this color I'm so ready for summer and corals are just screaming summer and in case you don't know these lasting pros have a very interesting brush and actually the new Wet n Wild Mega Shines come with this same flat um, manicure brush. So instead of having the round, let's see, I don't want to drip. It has the f this like flat, long brush. The flat brush makes it really, really easy to get a great application on both your fingers and on your toes. And my last favorite for the month of March is this little bottle that I received, um, I went to the beauty supply store and I'm actually a licensed cosmetologist but when I was there buying color and a couple of other things, they gave me this sample and I know uh, you can buy KMS California at like salons and some other places. Um, so they gave me a sample of this and it is called Free Shape and it is to help your hair dry quick, more quickly when you're blow drying and styling. Um, and it has like these two colors in it. There's a pink on the bottom and then you just shake it up before you use it and it mixes the two colors together. Then you're just going to spray it on your damp hair after you've like towel dried it. You spray this on your hair and then you start blow drying and I feel like it has helped it dry more quickly and anytime that I can save time doing my hair, I'm all for that. That is it for my March favorites. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what your favorites for March were and let me know if you like any of the items that I chose for my favorites. And I really have been in love with these products this month. Feel free to video response to me also. I would love to watch your guys' favorites. If you guys are interested, I'm going to include photos and swatches and things of that sort on my blog. It is www.theblushedbeauty.blogspot.com. You can see close-up pictures and information about all of the items that I talked about today, so go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!